The radical Democrat Congress has turned our country into one giant sanctuary for dangerous criminal aliens. In the Republican Party, we believe our country should be a sanctuary for law-abiding citizens who love America. And if we are going to make America great again, our first task is to make America safe again. Right here in Ohio, our once great cities are now scenes of horror, riddled with bullet holes and soaked in blood. You know that. Dayton, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Akron, and Toledo are all ranked among the deadliest cities in the nation, and they all are Democrat-run. In fact, of the 25 cities and deadliest places, but cities, I believe all the Democrat-run cities, congratulations, Democrats. What a rotten job you're doing. You're destroying our country. Eleven people were shot on Labor Day. Think of this. Eleven people. Is this even believable? In Cleveland, 11 people were shot in a single incident. Carjackings in the city are up 57 percent. Much of the crime wave is caused by drug dealers who, during the course of their lives, will kill an average of 500 American citizens, not to mention the destruction of millions of American families who are so devastated by drugs. It's an invasion of crime. And remember, much of the crime that we talk about is caused by drugs. And I'm calling for the death penalty for drug dealers and human traffickers. Which will, upon its passage, reduce drug distribution and crime in our country by much more than 75 percent. That's in one day. You know, our great First Lady, we set up a council. It was a Blue Ribbon Committee, wonderful Blue Ribbon, with a lot of socialites and people that, you know, they're nice people, okay? They don't know about the cartels. They don't want to know about them either. But we set it up, and we brought down numbers on drugs by 18 percent. But 18 percent is not the kind of number. Just a quick story. I was in China, and until COVID came along, I had a very good relationship with President Xi of China. There's nobody in a movie that can imitate him. You could go to Hollywood, I said it the other day. You could look all over at our actors. There's nobody in Hollywood that can imitate him. President Xi, I got along great with him. And in one of my meetings early on, I said, President, President, do you have a drug problem in China? And he looked at me like, what's this guy, crazy? Does this guy not know life? He looked at me and he said, no, why would we have a drug problem? He said, well, you have 1.5 billion people. You have no drug problem. His problem is that they make drugs for us. And I told him, you got to stop it, by the way. <laughs> Fentanyl. I said, President, what do you mean you don't have a drug problem? You know, somewhat naively. I said, what did now they'll say? Trump said naively to the president. Now, you understand. They understand, too, but they're very dishonest people. <laughs> so he looked at me, possibly saying, isn't he a naive person? Then I threw about uh, four hundred billion dollars worth of tariffs on him. So. But, but he said, he said, no, 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 we have no drug problem. I said, what do you attribute that to? He goes, quick trial. I said, what's a quick trial? That means if somebody is a drug dealer, if somebody is caught distributing drugs and killing people in China, destroying the families of China, destroying our country, we have a quick trial. And he said it very strong. Quick trial means a fast trial, not one of these trials that takes 35 years with all of our wonderful liberal lawyers fighting like hell. Quick trial. And he said, uh, we find out that they did it. And if they did it, they get immediately executed. We have no drug problem. And they save millions and millions of lives. Same with Singapore, same with other countries. Every place that has a real death penalty is strict death. They don't have any people dying of drugs. I mean, literally nobody. Because these drug dealers are smart. They say, and she told me this, they say, you know what? If I want to keep doing drugs, if I'm going to continue to sell them, I'm not doing them in China. 
I'll go someplace else. Like, how about the United States of America when nothing happens? But think of it, we would reduce crime in our country by much more than 75 percent in one hour. In one hour. The day it's passed, it's got to be meaningful, but you would reduce it in one hour. And I say it because it's very hard. Nobody ever talks this way. Nobody talks about the death penalty. It's a horrible thing to say. Even for me, it's a horrible thing. But they kill, I said, they kill 500 people. So the death penalty is very humane if you look at it, and they destroy families long beyond the 500 people. So no more blue ribbon committees telling us what to do. We want the death penalty for drug dealers and for human traffickers, if you don't mind. So incredible. Under a Republican Congress, we should also pass emergency funding to hire thousands and thousands more police officers. We want police officers nationwide to put violent criminals behind bars and keep them behind bars, not let them out the following morning or the following hour. And we want the radical left, the Democrats, to leave our police alone. Let them do their job. Give them back their respect. They know what to do. We have to allow them to do their job. Nobody can do it like them. Nobody. And to stop the lawlessness here in Ohio, you need to vote yes on Ohio Issue 1 to require courts to consider public safety when setting bail for dangerous criminals. <laughs>